Microsoft Education, student-focused, teacher-inspired. Update settings, apps, and Azure settings for your education tenant. Hi, need to buy new apps and provision them to groups in your tenant? Or maybe deprovision apps you're no longer using? You might be looking to make changes to groups or to settings, perhaps to comply with new policies. You can do all that and more in Intune for Education. Come on, I'll show you how. Log into the Intune for Education console. Here we click Groups and select Settings in the taskbar. And what we see are the same groups as when we completed the Intune for Education Express configuration. If we select All Devices, any settings we make today will apply across all devices. Got it? Okay, so we can change any of these device settings here on the page. And then, when we're done, we click Save to continue. If you'd like to configure other settings beyond the basic Intune capabilities, your Intune for Education subscription entitles you to use Microsoft Intune, which supports more advanced management needs. When you're ready to add more apps, just click on Apps and add what you'd like to provision to your tenant groups new store apps, or web apps, or Windows desktop apps. Now sometimes, you'll need to remove apps that have been provisioned to certain groups. It's an easy three-step process. First, click Apps to select the app you wish to change. Then, in the taskbar, click Groups and the Change Groups button. And finally, uncheck the box next to any group you need to deprovision. When you click Save, they'll no longer have access to that app. Besides provisioning, deprovisioning, and making changes to groups and settings, you can also add more groups and connect Bring Your Own Devices to your Azure Active Directory. When a device is owned by the school, you may need to have a single person adding many devices to your cloud infrastructure. Or when students move from using one device to another, they may need to have their settings run with them and made available on other devices. We can configure all these through the Azure AD Admin Portal. First, log in to the Office 365 Admin Center. Next, go to the new Azure Portal. To configure the device settings for your school's Active Directory from the Azure Portal, select Azure Active Directory, Users and Groups, and then select Device Settings. Set maximum number of devices per user to unlimited. To enable roaming settings for users, find Users May Sync Settings and Enterprise App Data, and then set the value to All. Now save to update device settings. And that's it. You can find more information in our documentation. And since we're always updating our documentation, remember to check back with us. We're here for you and would love to get your feedback. Hope to see you soon. Microsoft.